President Donald Trump has claimed that the U.S. is developing a super-duper missile capable of reaching speeds far greater than any system available to rivals, including Russia and China. During an unveiling ceremony for the new Space Force flag at the White House, Trump compared the U.S.'s military capabilities with that of adversaries and stated that the U.S. was working on a missile capable of reaching a speed that would be the fastest in the world by a factor of almost three. Trump said, I call it the Super Duper Missile, and I heard the other night 17 times faster than what they have right now, when you take the fastest missile we have right now. Chief Pentagon spokesman Jonathan Hoffman seemed to confirm the president was referring to hypersonic weapons in reply to a tweet and stated, the Department of Defense is working on developing a range of hypersonic missiles to counter our adversaries. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes what U.S. President Trump actually means when referring to Super Duper Missile. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game, which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed speeds of Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second, or 3,836 miles per hour, which is 6,174 kilometers per hour. There are currently three methods being applied to make hypersonic weapons. The first is using a scramjet engine. The scramjet is an innovation on the ramjet. Ramjet engine can power flight to supersonic speeds, but scramjet can enable the missiles to reach hypersonic speeds. The scramjet engine can power a hypersonic cruise missile. The second is through the use of ALBM, or Air Launched Ballistic Missile. As the name suggests, this kind of missile is ballistic in nature but is launched from the air, unlike traditional ballistic missiles which are launched from land or sea-based platforms. The third is using HGV, or Hypersonic Glide Vehicle. In this method, the system is launched to extremely high altitudes using ballistic missile or an aircraft where it skips across the Earth's upper atmosphere. The vehicle then separates from the carrier and glides back to Earth towards its intended target, attaining hypersonic speed. The U.S. is known to be working on two approaches, scramjet missile and HGV. The weapon U.S. President Trump is talking about is most probably ARRW or AGM-183A air-launched rapid response weapon. Viktor Murakovsky editor-in-chief of the Russian periodical Arsenal of the Fatherland, theorized that the Super Duper missile is in fact the AGM-183A air-launched rapid response weapon. Journalist Nick Schifrin has advanced a similar contential, as has the China Times. ARRW uses the HGV approach and is actually an evolution of the Defense Advanced Research Project Agencies DARPA's, Tactical Boost Glide TBG, effort. As per DARPA, the system is expected to reach speeds of Mach 17 to 20 when it glides back to the target. Countries like Russia and China have been developing sophisticated layered air defenses. These systems are difficult for traditional aircraft and missiles to penetrate. This is where hypersonic weapons come in. Their extreme speed and ability to fly in unpredictable paths give them a high probability of penetrating the air defenses. They'll be very hard to track, let alone intercept. 
It's to be noted that traditional ballistic missiles like LGM-30 Minuteman III also reach hypersonic speed of more than Mach 20 when it descends down on the target, but it follows a predictable predefined parabolic path which could lead to possible interception by modern anti-ballistic missile defense systems. Hypersonic weapons don't have that constraint and hence will be suitable for neutralizing well-defended strategic military assets. Russia has claimed that it has already fielded an air-launched ballistic missile named Kinzhal and has claimed that it has operationally deployed hypersonic boost glide vehicle named Avangard. China is thought to be pursuing hypersonic weapons as well. It's shown off mock-ups of its road mobile DF-17 as part of the October 2019 celebrations commemorating the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. On June 12, 2019, India claimed to have tested a hypersonic weapon. In 2017, Lockheed Martin won the contract to begin Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon or ARRW, development. The company had stated it wanted to meet the desired production target within three years. The U.S. Air Force had announced that it has conducted the first captive carry flight test of the AGM-183A Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon or Aero. The test was conducted from a B-52H bomber in June of last year. Testing and optimization of the weapon is expected to carry on till 2021. Will Roper, the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, said in a statement about the flight test, We set out an aggressive schedule with ARRW. Getting to this flight test on time highlights the amazing work of our acquisition workforce and our partnership with Lockheed Martin and other industry partners. He added, We're using the rapid prototyping authorities provided by Congress to quickly bring hypersonic weapon capabilities to the warfighter. This type of speed in our acquisition system is essential. It allows us to field capabilities rapidly to compete against the threats we face. According to Popular Mechanics, the U.S. Air Force is considering using the remaining fleet of B-1B bombers as AGM-183A firing platforms. B-1B has an extended range of 5,900 miles or 9,400 kilometers and a service ceiling of 60,000 feet. The engine performance makes B-1B capable of hauling a lot of weapons. B-1B has a massive payload of 125,000 pounds, that's 56,700 kilograms, internal and external ordnance combined. It has eight external hardpoints for 50,000 pounds, 23,000 kilograms, of ordnance and three internal bomb bays for 75,000 pounds or 34,000 kilograms of ordnance. As per mission requirements, B-1B can carry a variety of ammunitions like Mark 84 general purpose bombs, CBU 87, 89, CBU 97 cluster bomb units, GBU 38 JDAM, AGM 158 joint air to surface standoff missile, JASSM, to name a few. Depending on the exact size and profile of the ARRW, the B 1B could theoretically carry 31 of these. The U.S. Defense Department is clear about the aim with which it is pursuing hypersonic weapons. Mark Lewis, the department's director of defense research and engineering for modernization, has told reporters, Our goal is simply we want to dominate future battlefields. President Trump told reporters, We have no choice, we have to do it with the adversaries we have out there, naming China and Russia. In 2017, the Pentagon was spending about $800 million on hypersonic weapon programs. That nearly doubled the following year, then rose to $2.4 billion a year later, and it hit $3.4 billion this year. The U.S. military has been criticized for falling behind Russia and China when it comes to hypersonic weapons. It's now getting its act together 
and accelerating the efforts. The three services of the U.S. military are targeting a very aggressive timeline. The U.S. Army wants a mobile land-based capability fielded around 2023. The U.S. Navy wants its ship-launched capability fielded in 2023, followed by a submarine launch missile in 2024. And the U.S. Air Force is looking to field its air-launched version in 2022. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.